Good afternoon everyone. Today we have our 2004 Pursuit 3070 offshore powered by twin 225 horsepower Yamaha four stroke engines with just over 300 hours of use. Very clean boat for the year. Fresh coat of bottom paint. Boat cleaned up very nice and came in in, not, uh, in good condition as well. Has a nice buff and a wax. Try to point out some of the flaws we see as we're walking by. The boat does not come with the trailer that you see under it. This is our yard trailer. So, uh, and it's technically too big to trailer, but I'm sure some could do it. The boat comes with a factory hard top and a full canvas enclosure that's currently up. Not seeing any major gel coat issues along the side here. It's written no dock rash or anything like that. Through hauls look to be in pretty good shape. You got a little, uh, if you can see that, little dent there that someone hit the pier with, but not terrible. Go around the other side. Port side shows just as good. Nice shine, no major gel coat issues on this side. Here are the engines, stainless props. Uh, the engines have had the exhaust completed on both as preventative maintenance. Water pumps, oil change. Both look pretty typical. Nothing too crazy or cosmetic issues. Trim pumps look good. Hydraulic steering, fresh zincs. As we step into the integrated swim platform, we have a dive ladder that goes off the port side, engine well. Here's uh, where your fuel water separators are located. Access to your bilge area. self bailing cockpit, of course. Bolsters on both port and starboard. All the upholstery is in great condition. No major rips or tears soft to the touch and has good color. Batteries and switches are located in that compartment. Generator located under here. The seat also folds up and away if you're out fishing for the day or if you'd like to keep it out you can uh, you do it like it is now. Live well here on the transom. Cutting board. Little wash sink. We need a new actuator there. Fresh water system, of course. Generator is in the boat. I need to confirm hours on it. I don't know, but it's going to be, I'm sure it's not a ton. With boat with 300 hours on the engines, how much could the generator have? Unless it's side of port all the time. But we will double check and uh, we will reference that. Uh, when you give us a call, we'll know, have that information for you. The uh, enclosure is in excellent condition. No major rips or tears. Fresh ising glass and plastic. Raw water wash down located over there as well as your fresh water hookup. Rod storage. Another cool part about this pursuit, pursuits are excellent boats. You know, it's a, this is a top tier boat. Everyone knows that if you're looking at it. Is, um, you have 
um, this whole, I don't know, console lifts up on a hydraulic and you can put your fishing gear and stuff in there. You unsnap your canvas and this whole thing folds up for additional storage that is functioning and working. Here's another, if you're not, you don't have the canvas up, another person can sit right there. But, here's another insulated cooler box. Tackle storage and drawers. Another freshwater sink. Nice bench seat for your passengers. Two people or one person can sit comfortably. More tackle storage there. Helm seat that actually goes um, it goes forward and back uh, depending on the driver and how you'd like to sit. Uh, so it is on a hydraulic or an electric motor. It's not hydraulic. It is an electric motor. Clarion sound system, VHF ICOM radio, VHF radio. Um, batteries are currently off, but there are three. All the gauges aren't faded out and very legible. It has the Furuno Navnet, um, GPS, sonar, fish finder, and uh, if I didn't already say it, a radar. All in good working order, but it is antiquated, original to the boat, but some people like the old school technology. Hydraulic trim tabs, of course. Um, the gauges, have, you, know, you can still read what they are, but they're hard to read, so may, uh, may need a few stickers on there. Uh, door to the cabin, located in here. As you walk into the cabin, it's a very nice large cabin on 510 and I can stand up without ducking down. Here's your shore power hookup and 12 volt um, panel as well. Generator to shore. It has all your, it has air conditioned cabin of course. It does work. Refrigerator, electric stove, sink, microwave, outlets, cabin in the V-berth area is decent, you know, six foot or so from here. You can certainly lay down. No musty or mildewy smell in here. Here you have your table over there. You also have your table here that will, this table is removable. So this will be a whole bed area if you want. You know, that sits down uh, on top of the brackets and then you put that cushion on top and it's a, it's a bed. Clarion sound system, I already mentioned that to you. That's also working. Looks like a cedar cabinet. It's kind of cool. For your clothes, there's your air conditioned climate control. All the uh, there's storage underneath the V-berth as well. Bomar hatch for ventilation. These steps fold down or up actually, like so to gain access to your aft cabin for more gear. I don't know that anyone's going to really rest in there, <laughs> unless it's a baby, uh, but uh, more for your gear. You can tell this is just a well-engineered and thought-out boat, the way that things work and function and kind of they fit everything in. Boat it has a vacuum flush toilet. It's missing the toilet lid but the vacuum flush system is right over there. There's the panel. It's just like an airplane toilet. It flushes it right out with a little, uh, you can take a shower in here, sink, and you, a window for ventilation. I think I've showed you everything in the cabin, or at least the highlights. I'm sure I'm missing things, but I'm trying to show uh, cosmetic issues and just kind of walk you through the boat, a little walk through. There's a little area there on the floor if you can see. Looks like a tiny bit of water damage there or something got wet and sat on it or who knows. But the rest of the floor is in good condition. Upholstery is in excellent condition. Canvas is in excellent condition. We also have a windless anchor up on the bow. Rocket launchers on the hard top. The outrigger, it comes with outriggers as you see in the pictures. We do not have 
the outriggers themselves. We're trying to get them from the old owner. No guarantee. Expect that you're going to need to find those. And if we find them and get them, they'll be a bonus. As you walk around the walk around, it's a nice wide space that you don't have to kind of turn sideways and walk up the side of the deck. There's your waist pickup. It's got a ton of space and, and uh, comfort as you walk up to the bow for to mess with your anchor. There's your anchor locker. Nice area for people to sit up on the bow area. Throw a towel or a cushion. There's your Furuno radar. Well thought out boat. If we're going to put her in the water and show you how she runs, give us a call if you have more questions. Obviously you will. And uh, just, sorry for the background noise guys. Let's go put her in the water. Alright guys, that is our 3070 Pursuit offshore walk around, powered by twin 225 Yamaha outboard engines. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the bottom right hand corner of this uh, video, the little icon down there. For the most up to date videos, please cross reference our website at mdboatsales.com to make sure this boat is still available. Otherwise, give us a call if it is available for more addition, for additional questions at 443-324-1368. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out on the water.